evening. So our topic for today is about data gathering instrument and procedures. So the most commonly steps actually in data gathering is to identify issues and or opportunities for collecting data, select issues and or opportunities and set goals, plan an approach and methods, collect data, analyze and interpret data, and act on the results. Okay, so to give us more details about the topic, let us all welcome our presenter. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dion Kelly Daniel. Today, I'm going to give a short presentation on next two parts of research methodology, the data gathering instrument and data gathering procedure. As a review on this chapter, research methodology discusses the overall plan of the research and how the researchers will carry out the data collection methods. We are done with research designs and participants or respondents of the study. Now, let's move to the next part of research methodology, the data gathering instrument. When we say research instrument, these are the device used to collect data from the respondents or participants. These are the following. First is the questionnaire, the survey questionnaire. Next is the rating scales, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You'll give them a statement, then ask them to rate if they are agree or disagree. Another example, always, never, sometimes. Those are the Likert or rating scales. Next is interview guide. What are the questions you are going to ask to your respondents or participants? Next, observation forms. Definitely, if you will be observing classes, for example, this will serve as your guide to what specifically you are observing. Tally sheets. If you need to tally responses, checklist. Next is test. If pre-test or post-test. If your research design is experimental, that is also considered a research instrument. There are times that personality is involved so that the personality inventories is also included. Instrumentation. The process how the instrument was made, validated, tested, and used. There are two concepts used to evaluate the quality of research. First, your instrument should be valid. For example, your study is about the knowledge of students in mathematics. Therefore, your questions or exams must be mathematics, not Filipino or English. A validity instrument measures what it intends to measure. Types of validity Number 1. Face validity you will just check the grammar, format, alignment of questions to statement of the problem. Number two, construct validity. The extent to which the instrument measure the criterion being studied. Number three, content validity. How well the instrument measures the individual aspects of the criterion. Number four, criterion validity. How related the instrument is to other instrument that measures the same variable. Another quality of your instrument is reliability. When we say reliability, it talks about the consistency. Let's go back to our previous example. You want to study the knowledge of students in mathematics, but you gave them a questionnaire for English. Since your students know the answer, they will answer it correctly. In this example, the answers of the students are consistent. Therefore, it is reliable. But the exam or questionnaire is not valid. For us to understand more about the research instrument, here is the sample from LWM Research. With the title, Spiral Progression Approach in Mathematics as Perceived by the teachers in public junior high school of Santa Rosa, Laguna. For the first paragraph, tell what instrument you are going to use and why. Next, for the second paragraph, this is about the preparation of questionnaire. 
And for the third paragraph, this is for validation purposes. For our next part of our research methodology, let's discuss the data gathering procedure. In data gathering procedure, it narrates how the researchers administer the test or survey. In here, you will imagine the flow or steps of your data gathering procedure. When you are done with your survey, you will go back to this part and edit what really happens or what process of the survey you made for respondents. We have different sources of data, the primary data and the secondary data. When we say primary data, data that has been generated by the researcher himself or herself. Surveys, interviews, experiments, specially designed for understanding and solving the research problem at hand. It can be controlled environment. Example is the experiments. You may record the behaviors. Another one is uncontrolled environment. These are the settings that you can control the responses of your respondents or participants. We have observation, survey, interview, and test. Next is, we have secondary data. This refers to data that is collected by someone other than the primary user. Common sources of secondary data for social science include census, information collected by government departments, organization records, and data that was originally collected for other research purposes. These are the paper base and electronic. The problem or issue that you may encounter here is if the data is accessible or is it authentic. This is the example of a research procedure. This part includes all research-related activities to be undertaken in order to achieve the objectives of the study and to offer some possible solutions to the problem. Next is how to interpret the data. That will be discussed by our next presenter. Thank you. Good morning everyone. I'm Dion Kelly Daniel. Today